Today I want to look at what is the difference between a lensatic and a prismatic compass. What's the difference? I've got two compasses here. This one here is the Kamenga 3H lensatic compass and this one here is the Francis Barker M73 prismatic compass. Now obviously there are differences between these two specific compasses but I'm only using these as an example. Today I just want to concentrate on what the the basic difference is between all lensatics and all prismatics. I do understand that there are lots of websites and videos which say that they're the same, lensatic, prismatic, they're, they're the same. How can I put it? They're not. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say on that. Now they are similar though, don't get me wrong, because you use both of them by reading the direction that your compass is pointing, your bearing, you read the number of the bearing from a central dial underneath a piece of glass and you look at that number through a piece of glass and this is where the difference is because on a lensatic compass the piece of glass that you look through is a lens hence the name lensatic compass because the piece of glass is convex. convex. On a prismatic compass, the piece of glass that you look through is shaped like a prism, hence the name prismatic. Um, but the difference is the lens on a lensatic compass will magnify the number so you can read it. And the prism on a prismatic compass, not only will it magnify the number so you can read it, it will also change the direction in which that number is displayed. Now, if you're studying physics at A-level in the UK or for a high school diploma in the USA, you'll already understand Snell's law and the lens equations, but today I'm not going to talk about those whatsoever. All I'm interested in today is the difference from a navigation point of view is how we actually use these two compasses and what the difference makes between a lens and a prism. Now, so let's get to it. The basics, the absolute basics are, you could say that with a lensatic, you have to do two different things at different times. And with a prismatic, you have to do only one thing. So lensatic, you have to do two things to take a bearing. On a prismatic, you only need to do one thing. So let's look at the lensatic compass first. You look through a lens, and you place the wire on the feature that you want to take a bearing from. You then look down at, through the lens and read the bearing. You can't see the wire and the, um, the number at the same time. So you have to adjust your eyes. So the first thing you do, put the wire on the target. The second thing you do is you, is you look down and you take the bearing on your feature that you're trying to take a bearing on. So those are the two things that you do. Now, next is the prismatic compass. You look through the prism and you place the wire on the feature that you want to take a bearing from and the prism will project the number from the dial to the lower half of your eye. So you only need to do one thing because you can see the number, the wire and the target or the feature all at the same time. And that's it. That is the difference between lensatic compasses and prismatic compasses. It is the direction that the number is displayed into your eye. Hopefully you now understand what the differences are between lensatic and prismatic. Thanks for watching.